Hi everybody, it's Robin with Uniquely Robins. I just wanted to do a little garden tour for you today. Um, these are some Shasta daisies that I planted. I'm going to post, uh, probably put a picture before this so you can see what it looked like before when we first moved in to what it looks like now. Um, you know, excuse the noise because I am outside. So, um, this is on the, the right hand side of our front porch. And there's a, a lilac bush right there, then the Shasta daisies. And these, of course, are uh, um, uh, annuals, uh, just for a pop of color, and some lemon coral sedum around there. And I can't remember what the name of those flowers are there, um, but they're an annual as well. There's some coleus in this pot. This pot back here has uh, uh, chives in it that's been in that pot for like three years now. And every year they come back, so that's good. Um, we got some flower baskets up here. Has some uh, sweet potato vine and some coleus in there and some uh, marigolds, or yeah, I think they're marigolds in there as well. And then on this side, we have another one of the pots and I'll back up and show you the whole thing here in a minute. Um, just have a little evergreen tree here and I can't remember what the name was. I planted that probably three years ago. Um, it stays pretty small. Um, and then these here are bobo hydrangeas and they will get massive pinnacles on them. They get really big. Um, and I'll try to take a picture of them when they get bigger and show you that as well. Um, when I've had those in there, this is the second or third summer I've had those. Um, and I wanted something in the middle here and I hadn't figured out what I wanted yet. Um, but I did this year get uh, this little hydrangea right here, which will get big and fill in this middle area. Um, and it has, I can't remember the exact name of it, I'll have to look on the tag when I get inside. Um, but I just planted that this year, so in a couple of years, it'll get big like these guys do. Um, and of course back there we have um, a vine crawling up this little piece of fencing, and that is bindweed, which is very, very annoying and is very, very hard to get rid of. It's like a white morning glory, but it just takes over and tries to strangle everything. So it's a constant battle to come out here and keep pulling them out of everything else. Um, these here are uh, lavender, some lavender plants. And a little white butterfly flying around on that one. And I'm not sure what that is, a hornet on that one. Um, the bees just love these though so they pollinate them very nicely and of course i do have um an asparagus ferns hanging from the top of the porch and then i have the three basket i really wish i would have gotten one for um, each of the egg edges the other sides too but i didn't and i'll try to get back here and As I said, when we first moved in, the only thing out here was some uh, bushes that were right along here, and they were in really bad shape, so I tore all those out. Um, and this is a wisteria vine that I have trained into a tree. Um, love it. Get some beautiful purple flowers on it. Um, I think there's still a few left on there. Not as much, but let's see what they look like. They smell really good. And if you know wisteria, it kind of gets wild sometimes, so you really have to keep pruning on this if you want to keep it a tree form. Um, I don't want it to get a hold of the house because it will pull the uh, siding off of the house if you let it get too bad. So that's why I wanted to make it a tree form. And I do have what's called a red hot poker right here, and it's done blooming for the year, but it gets these really long, spiky-like um, flowers on them and they're red and at the top and yellow at the bottom they're really pretty um, try to hide this thing as much as possible so then they came in and put this big pole in here which drives me crazy and we have this really odd spot right here um, I don't know why it's dirt here but uh, the first year I planted a bush in here and it got humongous but it kept um, scratching my husband's Corvette and he was not happy. So <laughs> I took it out and put this 
this is a Jacob's Ladder climbing rose, which I'm hoping I can get to train to climb up this trellis. So let's go around to the back. Try not to walk too fast. I make you dizzy. And then to the right here, we have where our air conditioner is. So I have a chocolate bush, which was, that's the bush that was up front. Um, it's not doing as well back here as it did up there, but uh, it's a little hot today, so but I do have um, the whole front bed on drip. This is the only bed right now I don't have on drip, and that is because um, it stays pretty moist over here most of the time. Where the um, hose faucet is back there, um, when you use the hose for anything, it drips back here, and it, it stays pretty moist. Um, we do have some of the ground cover back here, and I started with just a couple of little clumps of that, like I think three I put back here. And it has filled in this whole area here and this whole area here. And then I have these two. I just trimmed back a couple weeks, about a week ago. Um, and the flanking the corners because it was getting way out in the driveway. So I trimmed that back. Uh, this is a hydrangea here. I don't know the name of this hydrangea. Sometimes I leave the tags beside them. But I don't think I did with this one. Um, just starting bloom. doesn't get as much sun back here so I don't think that one's going to get quite as big as some of them or it'll take longer but that's fine by me um, the longer it takes the better uh, this is uh, pink gomprina and I love this plant um, because I do believe it's an annual um, but it dries so well and it dries just like that. And the hydrangeas out front, the bobo hydrangeas, they dry beautifully. So if you want flowers for dry arrangements, um, actually this <laughs> is probably from a couple of years ago. I had it in a, a vase and it's got been blowing around out here for a week. So <laughs> they stay really nice for a very long time. Um, this is a grass right here. Uh, I'm not sure what the name of that grass is. Uh, I'm not sure. This is a sedum right here and it gets it's just now starting to bud up get a little closer so you can see it's just now starting to bud up and it blooms like a, a really light greenish colored flower and it's beautiful and I would never cut it back um, because I leave it through the winter because the birds love the seeds pods off of that um, I need to try to collect some seeds I did collect a few seeds last night but not from that Spirea bush down here, sticking out, and my uh, clematis that's on here, which is done blooming for the year, but I still love it because I love the little seed pods that it makes. I think they are so unique and so pretty on there, but it gets the big purple flowers, and I'll put a picture um, up for you to see what that looks like when it's in full bloom as well. And some of these uh, pictures I put up, I'll have to put at the end because I forgot to stop the video make a spot to insert it <laughs> um these are two hosta or uh hookahs in here and it re this pot really loves this spot it must get just the right amount of sun and shade for these hookahs because they have just gotten massive uh, there is another plant down in the middle here <laughs> that is um not getting a chance because it's not getting any sun that they're shrouding it and these will um in the fall i will plant in the yard uh, and this ivy here has been in here since last year i put it in and it's came back this year and it's just thriving in there um, over here we have a little gate by our back door and this is where my vegetable garden is because my yard is so small i don't have really a big area for that but I got some zucchini planted here. Um, these are tomato plants, um, different varieties of tomato plants. Right there, have a couple of little peppers down here in the front. We got green peppers, yellow peppers, and red peppers. Um, this one, is this, I'm not sure if this is a zucchini or if this is a, uh, yeah, this is a zucchini right here. That one on the end, I think, is um, cucumbers. Sorry. This is the zucchini. Uh, some more tomato plants. My husband told me this year I didn't plant anything else to plant him a couple tomato plants. So 
I made sure I got those in. And then these are um, butternut squash. I love butternut squash. And then the big boys over here, these tomatoes. I have planted tomatoes here in this spot and you can see they're getting some tomatoes on them. Um, I have planted tomatoes in this spot ever since we moved into this house. Uh, and that's been like seven years. It just loves this spot right here for some reason. Um, I think it gets plenty of moisture here and it gets the most of the sun. So, um, and this is usually has some flowers in it, but they, I've uh, try, been trying to pull them out so I can plant more vegetables in through here. Um, I don't know what they are other people had planted. So, I'll come back out. And then this rose bush here is supposed to have been a wave rose, which stays really low to the ground. I have another one over here. I'll show you their growth habit. Um, but this one just seems to take off. And I think it is more of a climbing rose. I think it was mislabeled. Something is eating my roses, though. I put some bug spray out the other day. I'm hoping that, or not spray, but pellets. Um, try to get rid of those. I have irises down through here. I'm not sure if I have a picture of the irises when they're in bloom. I'll try to get one this year though. Um, but they get really tall, uh, probably about up to here and they have beautiful white irises on them. And then this here is um, a little strawberry patch. I planted a few strawberries in there for Grace, my dog. She loves strawberries and she will come out here and eat them right off the vine. Um, and they're getting bigger now. This year we actually got to eat some of them. Uh, this is a grapevine that for years we tried to get rid of and I finally just decided, well, let's just let it grow and see what happens. This is the other wave rose. This is what a wave rose should do is to stay low to the ground like this. Um, and it does need some care right now. I'm trying to keep up out here, but hasn't been so far working so good but some of them I want to to let the rose hips form because those look really pretty in flower arrangements um, and I just fertilized these the other day so if you notice right here they're setting a whole bunch of more blooms now, this thing will bloom from spring all the way until frost uh, I don't know if it's supposed to do that um, I didn't think so but I'm glad it does as long as you keep it well fertilized real fed and happy they should be happy. Now this area back through here um, used to all be, well when we first moved in, it was all mud and a, some kind of a vine that grew all over, all through here and all through the backyard was covered in it. That's all there was, was mud and vine. So it took me all the first year to just try to rip all that up and I still find it here and there I have to rip out. Um, so I ripped it all up and I planted grass seed and fertilized the crap out of it. And then I had grass the next year. Um, this whole area was grass. Um, I didn't have enough plants. As you know, you never have enough flowers and plants in your yard. So um, I turned this, well, first I just did this one side here. I turned it into flower beds and still had grass on this side over here. Um, but then I found me a couple of Japanese, uh, uh, what are they called? Uh, Japanese maple trees that I have wanted for a long, long time. And I got them on a, a really good sale. So I got me two of those. So I decided to go ahead and make this flower bed over on this side too. So I had room for everything. Now I do have to do some moving around back in here. Um, I got this trellis here, this arch and gate from Amazon. And, um... The, the gate or the um, fence pieces here are separate, but you get this this arch and the gate was one piece. And I ordered these just to go clear across to try to keep the dog a little more in the backyard by her. I worry about her getting out in the road sometimes. Um, last year, I planted one lamium plant right here. And it has gotten massive. I just can't believe how big it has grown. I'm going to have to separate it and move some somewhere else. And my neighbor gave me this plant. She wasn't sure what it was. And I think it is some kind of a, a lambium. This is lamb's ear. Sorry, not lambium. It's lamb's ear. This is some kind of a lambium. Um, but 
It did have its own little spot right here, but this thing is taking over. He's a beast. So I'm gonna have to move that probably over there uh, to give it its own little spot so it can survive. Um, I think this is a crepe myrtle tree. Um, I ordered a bunch of trees and they didn't send them until like the middle of winter. Um, and I couldn't plant them in because everything was so hard I couldn't dig a hole. So they sat until uh, spring and I finally got them in the ground. At, but there was only a couple of them still alive. I, they did give me my money back and everything. Um, and told me that if that survived, it survived. If it didn't, it didn't. They weren't worried about it. Um, cause they did give me my money back. So, uh, I planted it there. So it's been there a couple years. So we'll see, see you if it gets any flowers on there or anything, because the tags were all, of course, from being wet and outside in the cold, you couldn't read them anymore. So I'm not sure what it is. Uh, this is, uh, look at the bee on there. I got to get sidetracked. Trying to show you this little bee. He is just going to town on there. I have two of these. Um, of course, right now the name escapes me, of course, when I'm trying to do a video. I can't think of the name of it. Um, it got a lot bigger than I thought it was going to get right there. So I may have to um, move it back a little bit. Uh, because I have a rose right here that... Um, gets these beautiful uh, peach colored flowers on it just beautiful um, and it has been blooming it's still head off this year too but it kind of swings around here and I think he they're crowding it a little bit so nepeta that's what I think that's what that is a nepeta um, and then I have some cat's pajamas down here that I just recently cut back because they were flopping really bad. And this Yara is flopping really bad too. Um, I would need to move it back. I'm probably going to move it back into here and then put uh, some support around it so it doesn't flop over like this. But I didn't do it yet this year because um, it's not done blooming. I'm just trying to let it bloom and the, the butterflies and the bees just really love it. So, um, And on this side have um a little evergreen bush back there i had two of those but for some reason that one made it and this one didn't so and you'll have that that happens hi everybody sorry i apologize for that um my phone just said it got way too hot and shut off on me so um i will try to do the backyard tomorrow uh, we'll get this video up for today, and I will try to do the backyard for tomorrow. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a nice day. Show some love to the lady below. Bye-bye.